Many of you ask in a Dino game, how do we make the background scroll to the left and never stops? Now let's create a new project to explain this. First, I will replace the cat with Dino. Oh, it's a huge Dino. Change its size to 30. To make it more obvious, I will make a colorful platform as a background. Let's choose green color, no outline. When we start, we want the platform to start from zero, zero. Okay, let's make the Dino stand here. And we want to see whether the background is moving. So let's draw something on the background. I will draw a tree using dark green color. When green flag clicked, we want the background to keep moving to the left. So we'll need to have a loop. And we go to motion, move, minus five steps. Now let's start the code. So it's moving to the left. But it will stop here when x reach minus 514. So we need to check on this. If, go to operations less than x position if it's less than minus 510 then we will make the platform to appear from the right side so we will set x to go to operations multiplication x position times minus 1 We put this inside if and put the if inside the loop. Now let's try again. When it reaches the left side, it will appear from the right side again. But then there is this gap here, so we need to clear the gap. How we do the gap? We will create a clone. So before I move, I will create a clone of myself. Now we want to tell whether it's the original copy or the clone. So we will go to, when I start as a clone, we'll just change its color. So change color effect by 50. Now we start the code again. Oh, the blue color starts from here. So we should start from zero, zero. So we need to go to motion, go to, put it here, zero, zero. Now let's try again. You can see it looks like the green copy and the blue copy are both moving to the left. But how come this tree is not moving? Okay, it's because the blue copy, the clone, is actually not moving. The green color is overlapping with the blue color. So what we can do is, when I start as a clone, I will start from the right side. Set X to 510. And I will start moving as well. So we'll need to use this moving code for the clone as well. So it's better to create a block for this. I will call it background move. Okay, so this will be our background move. Now we will put the big background move in the forever loop. So for the clone, we will also go to control forever background move. Now let's try again. You can see both the tree and the platform are moving. Okay, so now we make sure that the original copy followed by the clone, then followed by the original copy is moving. We don't need to change the color effect anymore. So we will remove this line, put it back, stop the code and start it again. You can see that the background is scrolling to the left and it never stops. 